In today's video, I'll be explaining what these two settings for keyboard and mouse actually change with some demonstrations, as well as why I would advise that you turn both of them off. Let's start with the easy one, keyboard aerial safety. Keyboard aerial safety prevents your car from tilting down when you jump while holding forward, as seen here. I'm assuming this was added to the game to help new players jump without unintentionally tilting their car down, but as an experienced player, this setting just makes controlling my car after I jump slightly more complicated. That being said, I have never had this setting enabled, and I would recommend you do the same. Then, we have Keyboard Input Acceleration Time. This variable control attempts to turn your keyboard inputs into controller inputs by making them gradual. To visualize this, imagine holding a controller and slowly pressing down the triggers instead of slamming them down. Here's a good demonstration of how it works and why I recommend leaving it at zero. This clip is of me executing the exact same inputs, one with zero input acceleration and one with it maxed out. As you can see, the car on the top, being the maxed one, takes more time to turn since its turning input is gradual. Then, as the clip progresses, you can see that the max car is physically behind the car with zero input acceleration. That being said, maxing it, or putting it at any value above zero, will end up increasing your turning radius as well as affecting your acceleration input, reverse input, and aerial control inputs. Hopefully these short demonstrations helped you understand these inputs better as I had to mess around with these settings at game when they first released to understand them myself. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed.